In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with styles in Expression Web. First and easiest, let's just create a header one for this contact info. So instead of paragraph right here, change this to header one. Notice, of course, in the code, it makes header one contact info right here. And it actually closes header one after my email. I'm gonna go fix that and pull this up to here. One of those uh, drawbacks to using the design mode is you have a very little control over where things are applied. So now contact in info is header one and james.gaskin.bb or abbedu is just normal text. So that's how you apply a built-in style. You can just drag and drop or click here after you've highlighted something. Super easy. Let's make uh, James Gaskin actually, let's make this a header three. So it's a little bigger. There we go. I can also apply a subheader or a sub style to an existing style. How do I do that? I'm going to go to Format, New Style, and this opens up. The new style is actually going to be a sub style of, of header. So H1 is an existing style, and we know that because we just use it, also because it's in this list here, H1. I'm going to say H1 dot email. Where do I want it defined? I would like it defined in a new style sheet, or if I already have a CSS style sheet, I could use an existing one. I'm going to choose a new style sheet, and I'm going to make this style just like header one, except I'm going to decrease the font size to be, let's see, medium instead of enormous. And then I'm going to make it, instead of bold, I'm going to make it normal. Let's see, that's font weight, normal. And then I'd also like it blue and underlined. So here's underline, here's the color. I want it to be blue. There we go. There's my email sub header one style. Header one dot email. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to say, do you want to attach this to a style sheet? Yes. And so it creates for me this default style sheet. I'm going to save this file, save, as styles.css and it's going to save in the root directory same area as the index.html page. Hit save and now I have this styles.css. Notice h1.email exists here. Notice also that h1 does not exist here. Well why not? Well, Because it already exists by default in the system so we don't have to recreate it. Email inherits all defaults from h1 except what we changed. So let's go apply that email. Here we are. Let me change this back to none and see if we can now apply a style to it. No, because it's not a header one. So I need to call this header one and then apply to this header one the email style. I'm going to click on this and hit apply style. Or if you don't have that drop down, you can just right click and apply style. There we go. That gave it that header one dot email style. How do we know? We can go up here, or we can see it says h1 dot email. But if I click up here in the code, it says h1 class equals email. So that's the sub style email. Okay. So we've shown how to use a built in style like h1, how to create a sub style. Let's create a brand new style. Let's say I want to make um, Chief Mugwump here a special format. I can create a new style by going to Format, New Style, and every new style is called dot whatever the style name is. Let's make a dot Gangnam, Gangnam Style. All right. And we better make it real snazzy. I'm going to make it chiller. Let's make it chiller font. Let's see. Chiller right there. Font size. It's got to be enormous. Instead of giving a uh, default, one of these in the in the list here, I'm just going to give it a 64 point font. Font weight, well, it's got to be bolder, not just bold. And let's see, color. I'm going to pick my own color, go to more colors. I want this deep green. Hit OK. It's got to be underlined and overlined. Oh, yeah. I can also give it a background. How about a background color? Again, I want my own color. 
It's going to be a light green. Hit OK. And I want it to have a border. How about, ooh, groove. I'm having a groove border that's thick. And the color has got to be bright green. Oh, yeah. There's my Gangnam style right there. You can do a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, I'm going to hit OK. And my Gangnam style shows up here. Now, since it is its own style, it's not part of a built-in style like H1 email, I can apply it anywhere. So let me go apply it to Chief Mugwump right here. And Chief Mugwump is now this awesome Gangnam style. Let me go ahead and hit F12. Oh, yep, save that page. And it shows up in my browser. Pretty slick. So that's how you deal with styles in Expression Web. Also notice again, it created the style for us over here. One last thing. Right now, these styles are only applied to the resume page. How do we know this? First off, in the resume head, there's a link to the styles sheet right here. It was applied automatically when I created the styles sheet and told it to attach it to this resume page. How do I apply this, these styles to all the pages in my website? For example, here's interests, here's index, and neither of these can receive those styles. For example, if I highlight this, uh, let's see, James Gaskin here, I can't apply any styles. There are no styles except the built-in ones like header up here. Well, right now, this page is not linked to my styles sheet. So let's go link it. What I can do is say attach style sheet right here in the apply styles area. I'm going to apply it to all HTML pages. Let me go browse for it. Here it is, style CSS, just in my root directory. Hit open and hit OK. It'll say two files updated. And so it was applied to my index page and my interests page. And now I can go and apply those styles. So header one, we could make into email, right? Header.email. Let me control Z that. Or I could say that uh, Lily is Gangnam. Oh, yeah. So we can now apply these styles in these pages. And that's all.